Hi everyone, I'm Mark Wim, and this is the iPhone 4. I'm going to show you some of the new things to expect on the new iOS 5, or actually the upcoming iOS 5 update. So the first thing you'll notice is the notification bar. This is just like the, the Android notification bar where um, if something shows up, it will show up on top and then you could uh, roll this down to show your past notifications. So you just roll down your notification bar and then uh, click on one of the, your notifications and that will open up the application. If we go to settings, you could actually change that. Notifications here. So if you go to mail, so you could set if you want the notifications to show up as banners or the old style alerts. And you could set the different kinds of notifications um, depending on your application. Also, we have iCloud. So here, I haven't really played with iCloud, but um, storage and backup. Now you're allowed to have five gigs of storage, and this will automatically. Um, back up your camera roll accounts, documents, and settings to the iCloud. And the backup happens when, as you can see here, when the iPhone is plugged in, locked, and connected to Wi-Fi. Twitter is built in on the new iOS 5. It will be under settings, and you just enter your account info. And if you don't have the application installed yet, it will install it for you. And also here at the bottom, you can see that Twitter will use the email addresses and phone numbers from your contacts and I'll add that to uh, it'll actually connect your, your Twitter your Twitter friends with your contacts if, if they match and some of the Twitter integration is pretty cool I'll go to the camera roll here's a test so I just go click here on the share button and now we have the tweet option here at the bottom. So I click tweet and uh, I could actually tweet this photo automatically from the photo roll or the camera roll. There's also now a, a built-in define option. So if you highlight the word you'll see copy, delete, and define and the dictionary will open up and give you a quick definition. Click done to go back to the screen. Another new feature to uh, talk about is the lock screen on the iOS 5. As you can see here, slides on lock. Looks, looks fine, right? But if you double click, uh, before it, there was just a music option on top, but now you have a quick shortcut to the camera. We'll click on that and uh, the camera shows up here. Let me put that, put that there. So now we have an options here on top. You could turn on the grid and uh, it just shows uh, this grid here, which is really helpful to um, to follow the rule of thirds, which basically means to take better photos. Your photo looks better when your main object is placed one third of the screen uh, horizontally and vertically. So, just like that. Another option here is the HDR, which uh, you're probably used to on iOS 4. So that's the camera. Swipe to the right and it will show my last photos that I took. So I, I like that shortcut. Another feature on the photo gallery, you click on a photo and there's an, an edit option here on the top right corner. And here is the auto enhance, which is popular on the iPhoto and your desktop so that's it automatically increases the shadows and uh, the brightness and you get a much better looking photo let's now take a look at the browser we'll uh, click on an article so this is an article from warm world nokia and i click here and here are the options. I could add just a re reading list in case I want to read it later on. 
I don't have time to read it now. Close that. And that looks like an interesting article, but it's too long, so I'll add it to the reading list. Okay. So a few hours from now, I'm web browsing and maybe now I have time to read the stuff. So I click on the bookmarks option and there's the reading list. And here are the two pages that I've marked. And I click on them and it'll go to that page. So that's a nice new option on the browser. So that's basically what's new on iOS 5. Apple says there are over 200 new features and uh, I've only showed you just a few of them. So uh, that's basically it. Uh, if you have any more questions, just uh, send them over and I'll try to answer most of them. Thanks a lot.